continued in energy audit next stage in energy audit is energy management team so it is necessary to have a management team that that uh, proceed for the energy audit in a particular plant or in a particular system so energy audit is a part of an overall energy management program the energy management is a continuous process and aims at the long term optimization of the energy input and utilization so as to reduce the energy cost so the energy management team headed by an energy manager has the following duties so uh, a energy management team have some uh, rules regulations some duties by which they can proceed for the energy audit of a plant first one is what are the duties first is compilation of previous energy usage data and energy usage standards preparation of energy efficiency programs and budget eliminate estimates for their implementation identification of energy losses and energy inefficient devices and the equipments fourth one is initiation of energy conservation measures fifth one is preparation of energy audit schedules sixth one is monitoring of energy conservation programs seventh evaluation of savings due to energy conservation measures eighth is spreading energy awareness among the plant personnel and soliciting their support and cooperation in energy conservation so these are the duties which we which the a, a team a management team must have to follow and the above duties can be broken into the following roles first one is policy role that is formulation of energy policy goals standards and procedures second one is advisory role that provides information to all the departments of the plant about the possible energy conservation measures and third one is service role monitoring the energy conservation programs and provide service to all departments as regards energy conservation and the fourth one is leadership role to establish and foster an, an, an energy efficient environment in the plant so these are the four roles in which all duties come into the in these four roles that is policy role advisory role service role and leadership role in a particular energy management team now the energy audit of a building how we can um, audit for a building this can be uh, shown in the next energy audit of uh, buildings so a building experiences heat losses or heat gains depending on whether it is using a heating system or a cooling system energy audit of a building aims at reducing the heat gain or loss the data required for this audit is building construction and characteristics window characteristics openings of the house and leaks and insulation status of the house so the material of construction in different parts should also be noted so these are the requirements for an energy audit of a particular building uh, next is effect of skylights the skylights in a building have an important role in the heat balance the effects are illumination from skylights reduces the illumination requirements it has been found that a building with 6% coverage by skylights gets enough natural illumination and does not require any electrical illumination during the daytime more skylights means more heat gain from atmosphere this means lesser heating requirements during winter but more cooling requirements during summer so this is also the effects of skylights next is effects of infiltration on the energy audit of a building that is leakage or infiltration of air into a building is similar to the effect of additional ventilation however it can not be controlled or turned off as per requirement the cracks openings around the doors and windows excess openings etc all leads to inf infiltration or you can say leakage higher wind velocity means more infiltration to reduce heat loss from doors installation of vinyl strips in recommended this strip is 90% efficient in reducing the heat loss however the use of v these reduces the vision through the access way air curtains are also used to reduce the infiltration losses through the access doors isolation of staircase is also helpful in reducing the infiltration exhaust hoods from kitchen also need special designs to reduce uh, to reduce the infiltration so these are some steps 
which are uh, taken into account for the uh, to reduce the effects of infiltration losses it is important to note that glass has poor heat conductivity but may account for significant heat gains due to radiant energy this radiant energy decreases heating requirement during the winter but increase cooling requirement during the summer many tinted and uh, reflective polyester solar control films are available these are mostly two or three layer laminations composed of metallized transparent or tinted layers they are adhered with pre coated pressure sensitive adhesives fiberglass solar control screens are also available so and uh, this is the effect of infiltrations and the uh, steps which are required to reduce the infiltration infiltration losses now we can see uh, the energy audit of steam generation distribution and utilization system a boiler for steam generation is an essential equipment in many industries steam is a convenient medium for transporting heat the cost of steam generation is very low heat content is high and its heat transfer coefficient is good so the steam distribution does not require any circulating pump and small pipes are often sufficient so the boiler should be designed and operated to produce the maximum amount of usable heat for a given amount of fuel so the combustion is a chemical reaction of fuel and oxygen which produce heat oxygen is obtained from input air the carbon in the fuel can combine to form carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide a low carbon dioxide content or high carbon monoxide content in the stick stack emissions indicates the incomplete combustion excess air causes more fuel to be burnt than required and more stack losses so insufficient air leads to incomplete combustion and low flame temperatures most of the time the incoming air is preheated and there are um, advantages of preheating airs that is higher flame temperature and the lesser excess air requirements so the, these are the two methods by which the energy audit can be done of a building or of a steam generation or distribution or a utilization system